Jenny Bunnies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. Okay, honeys, I told you guys on my last video that I was going to show you um, how I kind of put together this, not show you, but give you like a flip through of this journal that I'm working on. I created this journal all by myself. I'm so excited and so happy that I was able to do this. I did the, um, I like the binding, um, technique i am not at all an expert at this i watched like four or five youtube tutorials and i kind of you know got the ideas from the tutorials that i was watching and i was able to do um this little thing going on here um i have four signatures i know that it's not perfect i know that i need a lot of work but because this is such a, a special thing to me because it's my very first um you know journal that I kind of put together um, inside I used some pages that I have to tell you the truth I was not really too crazy about because this is my first time making a journal like this I didn't want to use um, like pages that I was really crazy about like you guys know me I like the soft the very um, light and like vintage colors so these pages in here are pages that I normally don't typically go for but at the end, when this whole junk, well, it's not really junk journal, it's more like a journal, um, came together, it looked so beautiful. I am loving everything about it. And um, so last night, what I did was I went, I sat down, I watched TV, and I took this little box with me, and I started to um, do my layouts. Now, what I like to do is I like to pre-do my layouts because when I'm ready to, like, pluck something in I already have a layout that I can work with so I like to do that um, let me show you really quickly what I have going on here so I just kind of use the ephemeras that I made I in the front this is not exactly how I want to decorate the front but I wanted to put something because it looks really plain so I put this really pretty um, tag that I created I think I yeah I do have a video showing you guys how I did this okay or similar to this I have the video out I think I have two videos before this one and I just started plucking like you know all these papers I didn't really think about the arrangement of the papers I just plucked them in um, again these are papers that I went too crazy about like for example papers like this I would never really use that to me is it's too loud but it just turned out so beautiful I am so happy how this journal turned out like this paper right here I'm not crazy about but I just I mean the like this is another paper that I wasn't too crazy about um, and I just it turned out so pretty I love it I really do love it this was the last layout that I did last night I just put some vintagey pattern in here and then I um I did more here I just love it so I'm gonna do one or maybe two layouts with you guys to show you how I kind of do my layouts and just give you ideas on what I actually do to put this together okay so let's use this page I don't know I want to use actually I like like I found this um little like set and it's actually a note card with little owls and then the matching um what do you call it envelope so i want to use this in one of my layouts and i'm just going to go through in here like what else i have I have a whole bunch of stuff in here that I just kind of like sporadically just threw in here because like I said I was laying down last night and I didn't really think of anything like I wanted to journal I just wanted to have something ready and I didn't necessarily think about what I was doing I was just jotting things down as I go and I kind of really liked that idea it, it kind of really works for me because I don't think too much of what I'm doing and it, it really does work for me um, when I do that. So here I have some book pages. I kind of really love the scenery right here. Isn't that beautiful? So 
I want to take a page that I'm not too crazy about, like this one right here. I'm not too crazy about these colors. So I'm going to kind of cover it up like that. And that works for me because this way I'm not forced to use, like, you know, these pages. I do like this here. So I'm not going to glue this down. Or maybe I will. But I'm definitely going to glue this down. Okay, so let's use some glue and I'm going to come as close as I can in here okay it's beautiful and then I think I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna glue this down too that's okay. I'll glue this down. I think, guys, I have definitely found my, what they call, niche, my niche, niche, niche? I don't know what you call it. I found something that I really love to do. It comes to me so natural to put these, like, pages together. And I think that I'm going to definitely start um, to um, do more of these videos for you guys. I have something that I want to actually plan to do. But I want to get a little bit more familiar with this whole stuff going on before I jump to something new. But... I have plans, my love. I have plans. Okay, so this is already already a layer. You see how pretty that layer turned out? Okay, I love it. So what I want to do is I want to pluck this gorgeous um, little note card in here. So what I want to do is I want to add some... Oh, I like this too. But I think... You know what? How about if we actually do it like this so that I can open this up here like that and then this this looks nice back here, right? I like that. Okay, that's good. I like that. I'm going to add some... Actually, I don't have my stick glue with me. Stick glue would be better to use. I don't have it with me though. So then this way, when you look at this like this, you can open this up. You can journal here if you want, and that looks beautiful. And that has a nice contrast, right? And then on this side, what I want to do is I'm going to actually add the, um, the what do you call it? The envelope. But this envelope is so beautiful on both sides. I'm going to have to sacrifice this owl. Okay. I'll sacrifice the owl. Before I lay that down, let me see if I find something else in here that I can use. Maybe something like this. my glue gun. I think it's in here my glue stick. Here it is. It is in here. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. And I'm going to add this to the corner of this layout right here. mind that it's wrinkled I like the wrinkle part to it actually okay 
And now I'm gonna lay down this beautiful envelope on top of it. See that? Over here, what I wanna do is, I am going to add, I bought this, actually, I didn't buy this, I bought this one. My aunt got this for me. I love this perfume. This is like one of my ultimate, ultimate favorite like perfumes of like all time because it reminds me like back in like my high school days. And so my aunt is such an adorable lady. She found this for me and she bought it. And so I want to um, kind of like, you know, maybe do like a spread with this perfume so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the front part of the box and this perfume is so hard to find it's literally super super hard to find so when she finds it for me, I get so excited. Okay, I'm gonna cut this part out. And I'm gonna find something to layer this down. Mm, let's see, let's go in here. I have tons of stuff in this little envelope, tons. So let's see what I have in here. I also have a video for you guys um, that I'm working on showing you how to use like ordinary items and turn them into vintage inspired items. I think you guys are going to really like that video. I have tons of stuff that I'm collecting on this corner right here and I want to um, I want to collect a few more things before I do a video showing you uh, what you can use um, and add to your layouts that are like simple things like receipts um, just simple things that you may not you know it may not come across your mind but that you can definitely use so I think you guys are gonna really really like that video okay so I'm gonna just rip this here a little bit I'm kind of gonna add this like a little belly just like that, a little belly, like that, see? I'm gonna add a little bit of hot, not hot glue, stick glue, right here, so that this can adhere. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. that kind of gives you like a little belly see that and what I want to do is I want to add this belly right here but I'm going to want to add it to open this way okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some washi tape on this corner right here right this corner and since I've been working on my journal I have these washi tapes in here that I absolutely adore so I'm going to add this washi tape to the corner so this can flip this way. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to add this like right there. And then it's gonna flip open that way. We're gonna have to add some washi tape on this side as well, just to give it some reinforcement so it doesn't really go anywhere. We want some reinforcements on our layouts. We don't want these to fall apart. So then they open up like this, see that? 
you get like a nice little flip and what I'm gonna do is on this flip here I'm gonna add actually maybe I'm gonna add it here yeah I'll add this here I'm gonna add hot glue Ow! I just burn up myself do you I don't understand how can I burn myself I use this hot glue every freaking day and I still manage to burn myself every freaking day I shouldn't have any sensation in my fingers by now and I still do I don't understand how that happens okay see that so when you flip it open you will have my beautiful perfume there that I love now this one I also this one I bought myself this is a new perfume that I'm trying out I'm trying to find that that, that one perfume that you really love and that you can't live without um, I haven't had any success in having that feeling about any perfume that I buy but hopefully I will find something that I love and enjoy wearing these perfumes are really nice and soft i work for a pediatrician office so i can't really wear strong perfumes especially with you know babies they're they, they very sensitive some some of them are even allergic so i can't really wear extremely strong perfumes so i have to be super careful with what i wear but um but yeah okay so i'm gonna tuck this in just like that but i want to make like a little I look like a little uh, tag, right? So where is my punching hole? Where is it? I can't find it. Here it is. I'm going to open a little hole right here. Okay, make that a little tag. I have some of this ribbon or like this, not ribbon. This is more like um, yarn, yarn. That's what that is, yarn. And then I think I'm going to stop after this because I don't want this video to be like super long. If you guys really like these um, videos that I'm making for you, like these process videos, hopefully you'll let me know. And then if you like them, I can make more for you. As I work with my journal, I will make some videos for you guys because I just enjoy doing this so much that I can't imagine like why didn't I do this before? Like... Doesn't that happen to you when you do you do things and then you wonder what what why did I do this before? Like what happened? Why why wasn't I not like doing this stuff before, right? I don't know. But you know what? It doesn't matter because now that I enjoy doing it, I get to do it with you guys. Okay, so that's that's basically how I want my little layout to be. This is my, not one of my favorites, but the ones that I, I tried was this one. And then this is the one that my aunt bought me. A little bit plain. Maybe, let's see what time is it. Let's see. Maybe I can add some something to this one because it's kind of plain. And it's kind of screaming like, please, Jenny, you know, please, like, give me something more, right? It's kind of screaming that to me, I think. So let's do that. Let me reinforce this a little bit. By the way, FYI, the best washi tape ever! I bought this washi tape at Michael's and I'm obsessed! I am going to be searching for, like, this washi tape on my next Michael run. And I'm probably going to be going to a few Michaels because I need to get, like, an incredible amount of this washi tape. Searching for it and I'm going to get it. I have to. Okay, there you go. So, okay, what time is it? Let's do a quick something to this page and then I'll let you guys go, okay? So I'm just going through my little pack here of like deliciousness. And I'm going to see if I find something that catches my eye. Um, so happy. I'm gonna do that. 
I love this vellum paper. I try not to use it, but seriously, I have to. So guys, before I let you guys go, maybe on this side. This would be nice peeking out here, right? So guys, before I let you guys go, I like that there. I'm gonna, um, I'm working on a project that I think you guys are going to like. Um, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna first work on it before I say anything or talk about it, because that's what happens to me. I talk a lot about something and I never do it. So I'm going to be working on a project that I probably am going to be selling in my Etsy shop. And I think you guys are going to like it. Um, I'm going to try to do my best to work on it for Christmas. Um, and I will give you guys an update on it. I will definitely, what I want to do is I'm going to create um, a few things that I want to sell. I'm going to probably do a video showing you guys what I'm going to be posting um, in my Etsy shop. And then this way you have an idea of what I'm selling. You have an idea of what you're going to get. And, um, and yeah. So I'm very excited um, about it. I don't want to talk too much about it because I want to make sure that... I want to make sure um, that um, I want to make sure that you know I'm I'm like that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm really really busy with work and some other projects with the like Halloween projects. So you know my time is a little bit mm, you know, tight, but I'm definitely gonna do something. Okay, I love this. I love this so much here. This is really cute. I still haven't done anything in this page. I think I'm going to leave this alone for now. And maybe later on I'll go back and figure out what I want to do. But for now, I don't really have an idea of what I want to do to this page. So I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to go with my instance. Just leave it alone. If I start messing around with it, I'll probably mess up the page. So just leave it alone the way it is. But this is how I kind of... Like really, you know, this is how my layout turned out. I love it. This is simple and pretty here. I like that it's simple. I like that it's pretty. Um, I like that. I like that. Um, that it's just simple. You know, I love that that simpleness to everything effortless right that's what the word effortless I love that word effortless I had to add this in here just because I love this vellum so much it's so beautiful isn't it I love it I think it's beautiful I absolutely love it I really do. Okay. That's really pretty like that. I think I want to do a little scale up effect in the edges. And then I'm done. I can go on and on. I really can. This is the reason why I feel like this is what I need to do. This is like my happy place. You know? You know when you like something and you just like you go to like the happy place I, I tend to tone things out like my friends I work with tell you I'm per I'm a good example of someone toning things out and just be like in my own little world when I do something like this I just like I am in my own little world and I just enjoy 
building like all this stuff out of like all these magnificent um, vintage items and books and images and just fabrics and trims and I it's just like something that I just love to do so I'm definitely gonna be um, making more of these videos for you guys I hope you guys enjoy it um, I hope that you guys found this helpful hopefully someone who is thinking of doing something like this maybe you guys you know can try it and you can see how easy it is to create something like this I mean you saw how easy it was for me to create this layout in no time with you guys with just a few little simple things okay all right honeys um i hope you enjoy this video i will be doing more of these videos hopefully you guys enjoy it make sure you thumbs up make sure you subscribe um i have a lot of good things coming to us in the next few weeks hopefully um if everything goes as planned i think that you guys are going to really enjoy what i have planned for you and yeah all right i will see you guys in my next video i'm going to be doing some uh halloween uh diy projects with you guys next and hopefully you guys will come back love you all thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for your support um please be safe out there and i will see you guys on my next video thank you honeys have a fantastic weekend and please be safe bye